Hi everyone, this is Adrian. And I'm Kerry. And for this episode of the Scent Library, we are going to talk about oud fragrances. Specifically, wearable ouds. Wearable ouds. Why do you think we should talk about wearable ouds? Well, there are ouds that smell like a barnyard. Right. So, <clears throat> what is oud? If you're not a real fragrance connoisseur yet, uh, you'll find out about oud pretty soon, probably in this episode. Oud is an oil that comes from a tree that grows over in certain parts of Asia, a lot of it like in Cambodia and stuff. And it actually comes from a protective fungus that the uh, tree produces and a kind of a sap that it produces uh, to protect itself from like insects and stuff. If its bark is damaged or if like a branch is broken off, it will secrete a sort of a sap. This eventually, over about 20 to 30 some years, will turn into something that has for centuries been cultivated for its distinct fragrance. Depending on how the oud is um, kind of extracted and purified for fragrance, it'll take on some different characteristics. Also, ouds from a couple different regions smell slightly different. Uh, one of the big things about oud is it can be very difficult to wear if you get some of what they call the stinky ouds or barnyard ouds. Why would somebody wear something that's stinky or smells like barnyard poop? Uh, well, because it doesn't really smell like poop. Uh, but it does have a certain animalistic sort of a smell to yes. it. So there are really challenging ouds, and then there are more fresh ouds that smell kind of balsamic, uh, sort of like um, if you ever cut a plant, like a something that has a real thick stalk, like a lily or something, it has that certain kind of uh, wet greenness to it. It smells kind of nutty. Yeah. Yeah, sort of nutty, sort of like fresh, uh, like a green stalk type plant or something. But it can be a lot of different things depending on how they cultivate it. But one thing for sure it can be is expensive. <laughs> <laughs> so almost any oud fragrance you come across that has real oud in it is going to be pretty expensive. Even though in reality they only use probably what amounts to, say, in a 100 mil bottle like this, a couple or a few drops of the actual oud oil, that's very expensive because it can be tens of thousands of dollars for a kilogram of the oil. Wow. Yeah. Now there are cheaper ouds. Usually the cheaper you get are the ones that smell kind of more stinky. Oh. Uh, the ones that smell really fresh are a lot of times harder to come by and they're very expensive. Now, the other thing is there are synthetic ouds that smell really good. Oh, okay. And they've come a long way over the last 10 or 15 years of fragrance, uh, of fragrance mixing and stuff that they smell pretty close to ouds and stuff. And some of these in here will have synthetic oud and some of them are real. And you'll pretty much be able to guess when I mention some of the prices because one thing I have done is that uh, all of these I'm going to mention prices, which as of the day that we put this up are current. Oh, that's okay. nice. Yeah. So, because uh, some of them might be a little hard to find or the prices, you may not know which ones to go for and stuff. So this will hopefully will give you an idea of what's a reasonable price to pay for it. Uh, I'm using my judgment from having bought many, many, many of them. And wood is really nice to wear. You it know. can be really, yeah, yeah. Uh, especially some of the more mild ones. And none of the ouds I'm putting on on here are what I would call challenging ouds. No. That's why we said wearable ouds. Yes, <laughs> these are ones even kind of uh, people just getting into ouds and stuff. Uh, this is hopefully a guide for some things that you might want to add to your collection because you're probably not going to turn anybody off with these. No. Okay, first one up here is by Mansara. This is Oud Lemon Mint. Now this one is unusual for an Oud in that it is a really good fragrance for warm weather. It's a freshie. Yeah, Ouds often are more of a cool weather fragrance. Um, strange as that is considering that 
oud really started out as a popular fragrance more in the Middle East where it's usually really hot. Oh. But it's because the oud really permeates and stuff. So that's why I think a lot of people think of them as cooler weather fragrance over here in the Western countries. So I'll just preface all that by saying, I think you can really wear any oud in any uh, setting. It's just that uh, the ones that are lighter tend to be the ones in Western cultures that are you know, more summery. And this is one of the ones that's easy to wear in hot climates for Westerners. This one has top notes of lemon, black pepper, coriander, middle notes of oud, patchouli, jasmine, and mint, and then base notes of white musk, vanilla, leather, and vetiver. It's a really nice one for the warmer weathers, although it wears well also in cooler uh, times too. It just doesn't project as much. All of the fragrances I'm going to mention, the prices pertain to 100 ml bottles unless I specify otherwise. So all of these are for 100 ml bottles of this. On Fragrance by Canada, it's about $81 right wow. now. For Fragrance Net, $83 and on Joma Shop, $76. Now, why do I mention ones that there's a range of prices? Because sometimes the shipping can be different. So pick for you what works as far as the total price and that will vary a little bit depending on which one of those you go by. Okay, let's move on to another one. Hugo Boss, specifically from the Boss Bottled line. This one is Boss Bottled Oud, and there are four different Ouds in this fragrance line. Mm -hmm. This one is kind of more of the kind of, I would say, the straightforward Oud. Mm -hmm. um, there's another couple that are a little bit more spicy in Middle Eastern, and one that's kind of more like light aromatic and stuff, similar to the Oud Lemon Mint. This one uh, came out in 2015. It's got top notes of apple and citruses, mm -hmm. so it wears well in, uh, you know, nice um, cool to medium warm weather. Middle notes of cinnamon, saffron, clove, and labdanum, and base notes of oud, sandalwood, uh, and nagarmatha. It smells somewhat fermented. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's the apple. It kind of almost smells like cider. Yeah. Uh, really nice one. Uh, this one on Fragrance Buy for a 100 ml bottle, you can get Fragrance Buy Canada for 54 bucks. Oh. Fragrance Net, 60, Joma Shop, 55, and on eBay as low as 50 from reputable uh, dealers. So I would think this would be synthetic. I think that this one's probably synthetic, yeah. For as low as you can get the price on it, it's probably synthetic. And it's not a strong, heavy oud fragrance. No. You, you notice it's there, but it's not overwhelming. Yeah. Okay, now let's move on to another fun one. This one sometimes can be a little bit hard to find. It comes and goes as far as it's uh, being in stock, but it's definitely not out of uh, production yet. Versace Pour Homme Oud Noir. Mm. Yep, this one came out in 2013. Uh, I would say this is probably a, a synthetic oud. And it, it has a light, um, very Western type of an oud uh, sort of a combination here. It's orangey here. too. Yeah, it has black pepper, bitter orange, and neroli in the top notes. Good nose there. Uh, middle notes, saffron, cardamom, and olivenem, and base notes, oud, patchouli, and leatherwood. Mm -hmm. uh, this one wears pretty well in cool, uh, uh, cool climates and stuff, cool temperatures. Uh, you can go light with it and do okay in warm, uh, warm temperatures. But this one really wears well kind of for an, an evening fragrance, thus the uh, Noir. This one uh, right now is a little higher than what I've seen it for a little while. It's running on Fragrance Buy for about $62, Fragrance Net for $77, Joma Shop for $65, and on eBay I've seen it for the prices that I'm more used to seeing it on the discounters, which is around $55. Oh. Uh, usually for a 100 ml bottle, although they do come, I want to say, in 200 ml bottles if you think you're really, really going to like this one. And honestly, if you're thinking of getting one or two oud fragrances, this could be one that you could go ahead and get a big bottle and it'll just last you for the rest of your life. It's a really good one and you won't hate it. <laughs> you definitely will, won't will hate it. You'll probably love it. Okay, now let's move on to one that the bottle will sure look familiar. This is obviously a Ralph Lauren Polo yes. series. 
This is a new one by Ralph Lauren, Polo Oud. This one came out in 2023. There was a Polo Supreme Oud that came out um, several years back. I want to say around the 2015 or something like that. It was only out for a year or so with the other Supreme, like cashmere and leather. And then they went off the market pretty quickly. Either they weren't very popular or the um, maybe the ingredients got hard to to source for the price that they were looking for however this one is a new version of their oud and i really like it honestly compared to the supreme oud which you can still find on ebay for around 200 dollars for a bottle yeah uh, this one honestly i like it better um, right now you can catch this one on Fragrance Buy for about $90 and on eBay for about $85. I would go with Fragrance Buy if you're going to get several things and stuff and then it'll be worth the shipping. But because on eBay, I never quite know on some of these as far as if you're going to get real or if you might get faked out or something. This has but the classic rose and oud combination. It does. It does. It uh, The top, uh, somewhat uh, common for Ralph Lauren, it has clary sage in it. I think almost everything from Ralph, Ralph Lauren has clary sage in it. <laughs> and pink pepper gives it a little bit of a nice uh, herbal sharp uh, opening on the top. Middle is, as you mentioned, the rose and base has oud. It also has cinnamon, orange, incense, guyac wood, vetiver, and patchouli. So it's a nice, this is a really, really nice wearable oud. Uh, it comes across much nicer than the old Supreme oud. I think this one is probably at least twice or three times more easily wearable than the old um, Supreme Oud. So don't feel like you need to go out there and buy one of those vintage bottles of that uh, Supreme Oud for 200 bucks. I have a bottle of it. I've compared the two. We've compared the two. Yes. And I like this one better, especially for the price. What do you think? Oh, yeah. It's, it's nice. It's yeah. Much it's, nicer. It's it's nice. It's going to be one that's going to be around for a while and stuff. So spray away and don't worry that you're wasting something that cost you a fortune to buy an antique. <laughs> okay, now on to something really good. Some of you might recognize this bottle and think that it is Initio Oud for Greatness. This is actually a kind of a knockoff. It's a clone by Latafa. Uh, it's called Bade Al Oud. Oud for Glory. This by Latafa is an exact clone. Wow. Note for note, I've smelled them side by side. I have the Initio and you, I can't smell any difference. And when I've had people that know fragrances and are good at uh, sniffing them out, you know, smell one arm is this, one arm is the almost $300 Initio. Um, they, they can't tell the difference. Oh. So the great thing about this one is the price. Uh, I mean, it is the great thing about it is it smells good. Yes. But the even better thing is the price. Fragrance Net has it for $28. Fragrance Buy Canada has it for $21. And Joma Shop for $23. You'd, you'd think it's not an oud fragrance because of how well, cheap it is. Sure, it's probably synthetic. Yes. But... Probably the Initio is too. I don't know. But um, because they smell so exactly alike. Anyway, the top notes are saffron, nutmeg, and lavender. Middle notes are oud and patchouli. Base notes are oud, patchouli, and musk. Now, why do they put those both in the middle and the base? I don't know. I guess they just they come through in the middle and also last longer. So it would really be better to say it's saffron, nutmeg, and lavender in the top and then oud and patchouli and musk for the rest of it. Yes. But yeah, price on that one is about, you can get it from anywhere from about $21 on Fragrance Buy to uh, $28 on Fragrance Net, $23 on Joma Shop. If you're just going to get one thing, I would say order it from Joma Shop for $23 because that'll be the least altogether with shipping. They'll probably, if they charge you anything for shipping, it'll be about 3 or $4. Okay, okay. <clears throat> moving on to another one that up until a few months ago, this was almost impossible to find. Dior Homme Parfum. 
Mm. Uh, this one, uh, obviously by House of Dior, it's going to be pricey. Ah. The oud in it is real. Mm -hmm. uh, but the crazy thing about this is up until just a few months ago, you couldn't find this hardly anywhere. I had to order it from the Middle East, you know, wow. from stores over in the Middle East. It was kind of developed more as a uh, fragrance that they were going to market over there because of the oud. Um, this one, ha it came out in 2014, and Francois Demache, very uh, famous perfumer, is the designer of it. Right now, uh, it still is available on Fragrance by Canada. Not cheap, but better than what the price has been in several years for 184 Wow. For 100 mils. Wow. Now, that That's is, really nice stuff. That is a lot. But this easily goes for, back when you couldn't find it, it easily go for four or $500 on eBay. And I think the best price I ever got it at from the Middle East was around 230 So um, if you're interested in this, this is the time to get it from Fragrance by Canada. Uh, they seem to have come across a big stock of it. Uh, so top notes are Tuscan iris and Italian orange, middle notes of leather, rose, and then in the base it has sandalwood, ambrette, oud, and cedar. Mm. So it's a fairly simple note breakdown. Uh, it's one of those kind of uh, powdery, lipsticky smelling kinds of iris, mm -hmm. and then it's got a really kind of a nutty oud yes. to it. And what I is like it? the combination yeah. of the iris and the yeah one. the uh, the orange in it is really nice too. It's very subtle, mm. but it definitely gives it um, some sort of a nice little bit of a citrusy turn to it that keeps it from smelling too opaque. Oh, so definitely something that is worth picking up if you want something on the high end. This is a really classy fragrance, and it's. It can be like your uh, signature classy scent and stuff to bring out for the special occasions. Okay. Okay, now let's move on to another fun one. This one uh, has been around for a bit. It's uh, Bentley for Men Absolute. There are sev several Bentley for Men's out there. This one is a kind of a flanker off of the original from a couple years earlier. <clears throat> this one was launched in 2014. It's an amber woody fragrance. It's not a real oud forward fragrance, but it's mm -hmm. in there in the background, and it's a nice, uh, a nice sort of a supporting note in here. It has top notes of ginger and pink pepper, so it's kind of uh, effervescent on your nose, especially in the top notes when you first put it on. Middle notes of olibanum, papyrus, and sandalwood. I so it's got the papyrus. Yeah, it's got that really neat kind of papyrus smell with the creamy sandalwood in there. And then it has Atlas Cedar, which is kind of a nice, uh, sharp sort of a scent to it. And then Oud, Amber, and Moss, Oak Moss. Uh, this one is surprisingly uh, inexpensive. Uh, it is on Fragrance Buy, 28 bucks. On Joma Shop, wow. 30 and then you can find it um, on Fragrance Net for about 38, uh, eBay for anywhere from around 31 to 35. Wow. So really, really inexpensive and a great one to add to your collection as a cheapie that's uh, easy to wear. I kind of think of it as a night scent and it's a little bit more cool weather than I, would, I wouldn't uh, try to rock this one in uh, hot weather. No. But it's a really easy to pull off cooler weather evening type of a nude. Okay, now this is one of my favorites. Really, actually all of these are my favorites, but uh, this one I really like, and it's one that I've just recently added to mm, my collection. So good. Yes, Oud Eau de Parfum by Aqua de Parma. Now, there's several Ouds by Aqua de Parma. Uh, this one that we're talking about in specific, it's in the black bottle with a black label and it's Oud Eau de Parfum. There's several others that are like Eau de Colognes and some other Colonia Senza type ones. Look for the one in the black bottle with the black label and it just says Oud on it. The Oud here smells rich. Yes, yes. Now this one I would expect by the prices on it that it probably is real Oud, 
Uh, also, this brand is not big on lots of synthetics, so I would guess that it's probably real. Very Thus strong. Oud. Supporting, yeah. Now, this one feels like a kind of a fresh oud to me. That's one of the reasons that I like this one, and I specifically wanted to mention to people which one it is. Because if you get one of the others, it may smell off from this, and then you'd think, oh, he was saying it was smelling fresh, and it isn't. This one is a great one for warmer weather. I just was down in Mexico and wore this one quite a bit and got a lot of compliments on this one. And it's a little hard to wear an oud in really warm weather, but this one I felt like it would go over well, and it did. So this one came out in 2019, and it has top notes of orange and bergamot, mm. thus the kind of the freshy feel to it. Mm. It has oud, amorous, and coriander in the middle notes, and then base notes of leather, sandalwood, musk, cedar, and patchouli. This one, unfortunately, is not uh, inexpensive. No. Uh, I got this bottle uh, off of eBay, and I think I got it for about $100. Wow. Uh, it was already opened, but you know, since I knew what I was uh, expecting to buy and stuff, I'd had samples of it. When I got it in, I smelled it. It was, you know, definitely it was real and stuff. So I think if you watch carefully on eBay, you can find 100 mil bottles for about $100. Wow. Somewhere around that. Um, but as far as retailers right now, the only things I could find were 150 mil bottles, so like six ounce bottles. And they were, uh, oh no, that's closer to 200 mils, I guess. A six ounce bottle, about 180 mils. On Fragrance Net for a six mil bottle, 180 mils, $223. Yeah. But if you think of it in the per mil price, it's not too, too bad. Okay. Joma Shop, though, you can get that same uh, 180 mil bottle for 154 Wow. So, like I said, on eBay, I did find 100 mil bottles going for somewhere around um, 100 to $120. So, uh, if you're interested in this, let me recommend that you try to get a sample of it first for around 10 bucks or so. It's doable. Uh, wear it a little bit in some different occasions that you would like to see if it works for you because it is pricier. And um, then, you know, commit to a, a bottle of the size that you think will work for you for the long term. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, here's really one that's uh, a lot of fun. Yes. Very fruity. <laughs> More Than Words. More Than Words by Zerzhov. This comes from a series that they call Join the Club, and they don't officially release what the notes are in it, but a lot of people have figured what it is, and it's been listed on Fragrantica. And very yes, fruity. this one is very fresh, very fruity, wears well in warm weather. This one came out in 2012, and uh, the notes are oud, fruity notes, floral notes, Oriental notes, <laughs> <laughs> ambergris, woody notes, olibanum, and labdanum. Oh. So they, they aren't really listed as top, middle, and base and stuff. It's just listed what they can sort of uh, make out from it because, like I said, Zerzhov didn't release a note breakdown. Um, There's supposed to be this thing initially when they launched these that they would send you when you got your bottle that there was a little card that came with it that, you know, discussed some of the note breakdown in it, but even still it was kind of a mystery. Um, it's a really nice, uh, light, fruity fragrance, wears well in warm weather as well as in cooler weather. I don't think really like in winter it would cut mm. through a lot because the notes are lighter. Um, this one for 50 mil bottles on Fragrance Buy, you can get it for about 112. Fragrance Net, 160 Joma Shop, 140 And then on eBay, it depends. On eBay, the prices were actually a lot higher, so I didn't uh, bother mentioning any of those. Okay, now we're down to our last two. Okay. And both of these are ones that we particularly love. Yes. So, why don't you tell me about what you think about Oud Rain by Rainier? Oh, yes. The mango and the oud combination is just so good. It is really, really a unique and amazing combination. This by Rainier Perfumes um, 
It's a niche company over in Europe. I have not been able to find it mm. on any of the uh, retailers, discounters and stuff over here in, uh, in North America. Uh, sometimes you can find it on eBay and I'll talk a little bit more about that here in just a second. So this came out in 2018. It's a fairly new one. Uh, it is an amber woody fragrance. It's a very fresh uh, oud fragrance. Extremely unusual in its note lineup, especially uh, with the oud. Very tropical. Yep. Uh, mango, papaya, pineapple, tangerine, cypress, and plum mm, in the top. Yummy. So, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of a really fruity gourmand in the top. The middle notes are oud, saffron, nutmeg, and sandalwood. Base, uh, once again, mentions oud, cedar, animalic notes, and labdanum. It's not so animalic. I don't find it animalic at all. <laughs> Can we smell? Yeah, I I no animalic notes at all for me in this. Now, this one is a kind of a niche type of a fragrance. Um, I've only been able to order it from Rainier Perfumes, uh, their website. Right now, it's listing for a 50 mil bottle, 125 euros plus shipping. Uh, I remember when I got some bottles from there, uh, I actually ordered a few different things, and the shipping for one thing is about the same as for three or four. So one thing I might mention for you to do is to try to get a couple samples. Sometimes you can find samples on eBay of this and a few of the others that look interesting to you. And then when you know what you would like to buy, maybe get a few things or a couple bottles of this, because I think they only come in 50s. Uh, and stock up on this because the thing is with uh, Rainier, um, you never know when they might just discontinue a fragrance and then something that you've grown to love a lot goes away. Oh. Yeah, what I did on this, and this is one of the bottles I bought from eBay. It was already partially uh, gone through and I got it for around 67 bucks oh. and tried it, loved it, and then ordered a few bottles to have in backup and stuff from the website. Wow. So you can, if you watch on eBay occasionally, you can find some uh, half bottles or partially used bottles for a pretty reasonable price. Uh, so, you know, you could try that and or get some samples of it before you commit to like the whole thing. But it's a really unique fragrance and this is probably one of my favorite unusual ouds from the standpoint that it's like fruity and really easy to pull off in warm weather. Yes. Okay, last and certainly not least, this is probably one of my favorite ouds I've come across in a long time. And I can't believe that I'm actually recommending a Paco Rabanne 1 million. Oh, wow. Because I absolutely hate the bottles on these things. <laughs> I think they look so tacky. <laughs> But, you know, it's, you know, definitely gets them noticed. And it's not the bottle you're wearing, it's the perfume. So this is One Million Golden Oud by Paco Rabanne. Mm. It's a leather oud fragrance for men, and it came out in 2023, so it's really new. Mm -hmm. Also a little hard to find at discounters. Um, so the uh, person who designed this is Christopher Renaud, and... Um, Really, really nice. Um, I would definitely think of this one kind of more as a Middle East type of an oud. Uh, it's wearable and it has, you know, some Western sort of um, Western sort of characteristics to it. But it definitely leans into the kind of spicy, exotic, uh, Middle Eastern type of an oud setup on this. This one has top notes of nutmeg, saffron, black pepper, bergamot, middle notes of iris, gurjan balsam, cedarwood, labdanum, and base notes of leather, oud, patchouli, and sandalwood. It's not as lipsticky as the DR one. No, definitely not. The, the iris in this feels different. To yes. me, the iris... The iris in this one is more buttery. Mm. Um, and, you know, whenever you have iris in a fragrance, it's really the root mm. of the plant, the orris root. You'll see it mentioned as sometimes. 
So probably depending on how they prepare and extract the fragrance from it and stuff, it may have different uh, sorts of characteristics or it may be a different sort of an iris plant that they're working with. But this one definitely is more smooth and kind of nutty, buttery than it is like yes. powdery, lipsticky. Yes. But the oud in this is just spectacular mm. and the spicy notes to it are just so exotic. It really is kind of like a mind trip smelling it, <laughs> like into some sort of a Middle Eastern fantasy or something, you know, the Thousand and One Arabian Nights. Uh, this one is a little hard to find right now, uh, and you're not going to get much off the retail price because it is so new and it is so popular. Oh. Um, but I think it's well worth it. Yes. For there's some things that when they come out, you know, they are really good and it's kind of worth the price to go ahead and get it. You know, you wait a couple years or so, it probably will be down, you know, under $100. But right now, uh, the only places I found it was on Joma Shop for about $130. And uh, on Fragrance Buy, you could, you could have gotten it a couple weeks ago for about $112. Not much difference. Not much difference, no. So if you're aching to get this one and it sounds like something you like, just, you know, spring for the extra few bucks and get it from a reputable source or something. Uh, if, if you can wait, uh, probably by late later fall of this year, it'll probably be under $100. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's all for us. And which one is your, of these is your favorite? Definitely this one, Oud Drain and Dior, and the Aqua de Parma, yes. So basically all of them. <laughs> no, I just chose four. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I all... love Oud. It's just great. Yeah, there's, there's several other Ouds that I have in my collection, and I love almost all of them. Uh, but these are some of the ones that I think are the easiest to grab and wear without thinking too much about them and stuff and thinking is like, can I pull this off in this situation or am I wearing this just for me? Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, try these, uh, you know, get some samples of a few of these if you like them. The more expensive ones don't commit to a uh, hundred and some dollar bottle before you know if you like it. But some of the other ones, the easy or the cheaper ones that I mentioned and stuff, you could... You can pretty much just make the jump on those and stuff because you're not spending much money and I can guarantee you, you'll love them. Okay, well, thanks for tuning in. Till Thank next you. time. Bye. Bye.